Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublik on here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Survival Roleplay with our child of Adam Ghoul, who is wonderfully hiding within this hotel, which, damn, does it look derelict, but God, is it kind of cool. Basically, we came here to look for the explosive bomb code, and we found it in this here hidden back door. And once we had located it, we discovered that this man did not want to blow up the world, but this woman wanted to sell the code, and so she was like, ha 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 ha, I'll do it, and then he shot her, after he was shot by her first, and then they both died, and it's actually kind of sad. War is hell, you know, and it, whoa, whoa never changes. Anyway, so this location was filled with super mutants, and Vim, nice, was filled with super mutants, and we snuck through here, and there's still going to be some more. And I want to continue clearing this place out, because now that we have a bed, and not only that, a good bed. I mean, a good enough of a bed that it almost makes sense to just get a real good night's sleep on it, you know? Something like eight hours of sleep. Boom. Well rested, peckish, all, all amazing useful things. And I just noticed something while doing that. I have a habit of sleeping into evening. I don't know why I keep doing that. I, I gotta... I gotta be careful of that, because it's kind of, it's like, you don't want to just sleep into the middle of the evening, it's scary at nighttime, and it's been scary. Oh well, at least we got our sleep in, we don't have to worry about needing to sleep at all for a little while. That's, uh, and also we were already inside a dark area, so it doesn't really matter too much about, you know, what the light was like. But I really am curious about what the world is like, you know, in Far Harbor, uh, in some of these harder, scarier areas. When there isn't as many, you know, sneaky, dark corners for people to hide in. <laughs> oh, we got an upstairs. That's going to be really useful to find some people. They just want us to go back outside because the code is on the boat. Hello, Gorbag. Radioactive gland. No, thank you. Gl gland is just such a scary sounding word. It's, it's kind of gross. A noise? Yeah, it's a noise. I know. Where are you? It's really cool how inside here, there was an echo when the guy said, A noise? I liked that. That was pretty cool. Oh, shit. Can we grab the key to somewhere that we like need? It must have been not that sound. What is it? I don't know, bro, but where are you? You know what? Here we go. La da da da. Making noise. Making noise. Making noise. Making noise. Still hasn't found me. No fight today. Huh? What's that? Is it up here? Is this where he is? Stupid noises. <laughs> I know, I would be really annoyed about stupid noises too, but there you are. And bink, bink, bink. Bink, bink, bink. The three sounds that nobody wants to be shot by, because ow, ow, ow. Plus times two damage for a sneak attack with our sneaky, snipey suppressor on our gun. Ooh, baby, it's been a fantastic gun this entire time. At one point, we're going to pick up something that's going to replace her. That's okay. You know, like... Oh shit, no, 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 no. I realize as a game design, I wouldn't want to have a, are you sure you want to go back outside button? Sometimes though, I'm just a, you know, clicky clacky a little bit too fast. I'm going to pick up that minigun. We're just going to throw it down the moment that we can. Might as well collect the five millimeter ammo that's in it. And this is where that scary dude was just hanging out. We blew him up with all the grenades that we had on us. Huh. All right, back inside the house, which it's always faster loading up the inside interior locations. It makes sense. I mean, the island is much bigger, and so there's a much bigger area that must be loaded up. Is this... Oh, God damn it. The exit was right there. Right before I exit this place, just kind of giving their interior look, I'm curious if the Bethesda people have architecture degrees, or if they have architectures come in and actually talk to them about general designs of hotels and things, or if they just go in and look at hotels and follow blueprints. Because, I mean, here's the entry hall. You know, you have your people guests walking in and then they have a little dining area where it looks like they have live music that goes on which is that's pretty cool you have the receptionist right here apparently there's a bed right here but just leave that out for the moment a lot of the luggage actually has ammunition in it which uh i've actually one of you guys brought up the fact that since everybody was scared that china was going to attack it made sense that everybody just constantly had weapons on them anyway like i said this is a pretty expansive interesting well laid out hotel and it's just kind of impressive for the guys at Bethesda guys and gals we've talked about this before to have made something that feels so so real like oh my god 
That real. That real. They even have the bell. Alright, so the nuclear launch key is over here. That's way, way far away from here. I was expecting it to be like a little boat right off this side. But luckily it's just on the path, same direction, so we're just gonna keep moving that way and uh continue finding beds as we can. Once again, nighttime traveling. It's pretty though. No rad storm. 1051 at night, but what is this? This is smoking really. Oh my god. It's burning. This had to have been recent. Oh. Do I get hurt from the smoke at all? No. Do I get hurt from the fire at all? Doesn't seem to. I'll take that fusion core. Why not? This is cool. Ooh, a bathroom. That'd be really funny if there was like a bed here. Oh, how wicked would it be? Whoa. Is this oil? What is that? What is that effect? That must be oil, but do they burn oil in the Fallout 4 universe? Like, everything's fusion core, so why would they burn oil? It's, I mean, it's way dirtier. I don't want to just go stepping on the, uh, what appears to be flaming oil. So, we're gonna avoid that. Hold on. Well, we definitely know that there is oil in this universe, because we have caused, like, fire explosions to occur. I just... Wow, this is this is recent. Like this this crash had to have been very recent. Or the fire had to be recent. Oh man, how is that for a shot in the background? God, and then there's a dead dolphin right there. I look forward to finding some of those dolphins alive and seeing what they look like as they're swimming through the water. Speaking of which, here's some more giant bone creatures and more dead dolphins. And I wonder what this thing is from. It's just so big. Oh, and interesting. You can find anglers by hitting vats, even though you can't actually tell they're lure weed. You know, that's cool. I think that's a good thing to know, especially so I don't end up killing myself at one point. I find that to be a little bit of a disappointment, though, because I kind of like the surprise of, like, suddenly angler. Okay, so the storage devices are coming up right in front of us now. I'm guessing on... Stalking Trapper. Interesting. I'm guessing on, like, this boat? No, that's 85. So probably on a boat, like, right over there. I can actually take this guy out from here, I think. Well, I can hit him, but I can't take... Oh, it's a minigun. No, it's a harpoon gun. Alright, I... Feel like they can't... S they don't really know where I am. There's a huge distance between the two of us. So... Well, I wish I was crouched when I did that. That would have given me a little bit extra damage, wouldn't it have? Do I have a missile launcher on me? I do have a minigun. Fortunately, no missile launcher. I'm just dropping all the guns that I've been using to pick up ammunition. You know, I like having smaller range scopes because longer range scopes, they're really not as useful for like typical whatever you're doing unless you're staging an attack on an entrenched position. Then the longer range scopes become the most useful, but from here, this makes sense to have shorter range because again, it gives you a better, wider view. Holy crap, he's shooting at me! He, he followed me! I am impressed! I did not expect the AI to follow me all the way over here. Alright, he's shooting at me, but I... Haven't killed him yet. I don't have a critical. There you are. Oh, we got him. Hold on, let's go back and grab that. <coughs> oh, ow. Whoa. Oh, we, wow. We have, like, totally scooby dooed our way into safety. I mean, like, we walked over here right as the harpoon guy was coming over to the other side. We walked back to visit the harpoon guy. Right as they were coming from the other direction. That, uh, that worked out great. <laughs> hey, dead dude. You, uh, got anything for us? Yes, you do. Alright, we're almost to the boat. Another fiery crashed boat. So I'm gonna explore this spot in a little bit once we get to the boat, I think. Just first want to, uh, get over there and grab and maybe we can actually drop another save. If people were there, then, uh, it's worthwhile. This is another recent crash, I would argue. God, I love how this looks at nighttime. 
I was all complaining about the nighttime stuff, but now this makes it. Ooh, don't burn! Okay. Okay. Careful. There we go. Hopping over. Get the storage drives. Are these really heavy? No. No, wait. They weigh six a piece. Shit. That's really heavy. Oh, man. Survival mode. I had this whole, like, circle planned, and then they're like. Don't have the key. Victoria's key. Alright, so if we can find Victoria's key, we can open this up, but man, six pounds per object? I don't see the key hidden under anything or anything like that, and it's not in this person's hand or anything that way. Oh! I'm not on fire. Oh, okay. God, I kept thinking I was about to be on fire every time I jumped into right here. Need Victoria's key again. Alright, well there's the facility we need to go into. Let's go into the uh, trapper area. Back into caution, and I can hear people sighing. Easy trapper to shoot. Another easy trapper to shoot. Alright, no problem. Didn't alert anybody to our location. This trapper is going to be a special. Oh, he moved. Or she moved, I don't know. That trapper will be easy enough because they're just a trapper. Right, here we go forward. Can't really. Oh, it's a sleeping person. And we're in danger. Oh, 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 oh. Well, that's easy enough. Gotcha. What are you? I find it really interesting how many of these trappers have a lot of energy resistance, but don't have as much ballistic. So I feel like it would be the opposite. But I guess it makes sense because leather armor tends to be the easiest armor to obtain. Being shot at by somewhere. So if leather armor is the easiest armor to maintain, how did you miss that shot? Then it would make sense that you would probably have the most energy resistance, which is, you know, leather armor. 26 and 26. I'm going to switch to my Thorita because I've been using a lot of our 10 millimeter. And it's not like they don't know I'm here anymore. That music in the background is the exact music I have whenever I show up in Sanctuary in my personal playthrough. It's always kind of my indicator when the game's loading that I can, like, uh, time to tab back in after listening to another, th or, like, checking another place, email or something. Typically, your guys' comments, actually. Oh, baby. Drop me that save. Oof. That's cool. That was a good little bit to just check this out. I figured if people are living here, I mean, there's got to be a bed, and luckily there is a bed. Ah, uh, yes, the pretty music. Hello. Oh, this is nice. I like this. It's just very relaxing. It's very chill. I think if I was living out here in this terrible hellhole, I would totally be like, yeah, let's just have the nice music going. This is, in fact, a pretty big area with a lot of interiors that are available to explore. I'm, uh surprised and I'm glad to see that that means there's probably gonna be something here like a magazine or you know a couple other useful just items in general all right we're actually in caution right now so there's going to be someone <laughs> oh you'll just burn to death now I love it what letting them burn come on you're almost there oh oh you're not okay well now I just I guess Laser to the face, then. Why not? Oh, they've got the lobster trap helmet. All right, this has five damage resistance, but let's make sure we get a good... Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, not worth it at all, but damn, do I love this helmet. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a tree floating through there. Gotcha. And a place to do some cooking. Nice. I'm going to wear the helmet right now just because it's just so funny looking. Oh, it's it's pretty ridiculous. All right, wibbly wobbly on the bracket still a little bit. Nothing crazy though, so I feel pretty confident. I just stepped into a hole. Okay. Oh, there's the radical chicken. Oh, goodness. I've heard of the radical rabbit. We've seen it. Now we have a radical chicken. Oh, my God. It's missing its feathers. Hold on. Let's kill it. I think that... Right there has got to be one of my favorite scenes I've ever seen. Is this person in a lobster pot helmet shooting a chicken. And it had a toy alien. Huh. 
Jeez, I'll take the toy alien and the chicken thigh. Why not? Another bed. Wow, this place is like just bed central. I appreciate it, game. Like, sometimes I feel like there are no beds, and sometimes I'm like, okay, guys, I get it. I can save here. It's kind of an interesting flip, and it definitely it works okay. Like, oh, there we go. That's what kept putting me in and out of hidden. All right, looking at our weight, we actually have a little over 30 pounds left, and I'm carrying a couple guns for ammunition, just that I'll drop again soon. Worst case, I can also drop a couple other things if needed. I mean, those extra 12 pounds kind of suck to lose because of the, the, the memory or whatnot. Actually, I should save one more time. Vault Tech lab coat in this dresser. Is this a Vault Tech house? That'd be fascinating. Huh. That would be really fascinating if just a vault tech person lived there. I still have a habit of buying antibiotics whenever I get the opportunity. It's definitely been very useful, but it's... Now water has become kind of our thing. I mean, we only have four purified waters left, and we have plenty of bottles, so if we... And potentially Vim will actually uh, provide us a lot of water, or, I mean, just refreshment, and that would work too. Okay, let's avoid burning ourselves on the oil, if we can. Swim over to the Vim Factory and do our next two missions in here, which is pretty sick that we got a double mission in here. A little bit of a heap of experience coming. Oh, what's that? Holy crap, that spooked me. There's super mutants here. Alright, sneaking around. We should start see- ooh, that's a pretty bridge. We should start seeing some super mutants in a second. I is where I keep hearing super mutants discussing things like I hear something. There's a skirmisher. Crouched and fire. Okay, I can't see him anymore. Got him. Oh, danger. I should be actually relatively okay right here. Yeah, people will only be able to fire at me like this. I mean, sure you crippled my head and I can't see very straight now, which sucks, but... There we go. That person threw a Molotov that went way over my head. I saw that and I was like, okay, I don't have to panic at all. Holy crap, I'm wearing the wrong armor. <laughs> that's uh, that's actually really funny. <laughs> it was I was just having so much fun wearing it. I totally forgot. Okay, so I'm not going to use a stim pack yet. I don't want to fix my head immediately. I want to... Ugh. I don't like it doing this, though. <gasps> Holy crap, dude. I'm gonna fix my head. I'm gonna fix my head. <laughs> that spooked me. We're just getting so low on water. Alright, hold on. Let's do some nuke nuka stuff. Alright, we're in hidden again. I'm gonna just run around the outside to see if I can catch all the super moons and get them out of here. Stim packs, rad X. We actually have some dirty water on us too. So if things get kinda rough, we can use that. Someone there. Yep, someone is definitely here. Uh, everybody is less safe to my authorita. Hey, there you are. I hope you enjoy some fire. Some lasers. I love the way they turn to ash. It's just, it's so much fun. Mutant hound, get over here. There you go. Critical on him. One more hit. Uh, I guess a lot more hits. Oh, I'm hitting something behind him. Or in front of him, obviously. Never mind. Got that. Come on, bros. Let's do this. I'm not hiding. I'm literally... You did not see the beams of light shooting out of my gun? I'm not hidden very much, dude. There you are. Actually. Stay in vats. Stay in vats. Holy shit. Heels. Heels and run. Okay. Jesus Christ. We would have died. Okay, that saved the hell out of us. All right, um, how are we gonna do this? You know what sounds like a plan? Fried fog crawler. Come on, buddy. All right, we gotta find a new way to they have a freaking rocket launcher that pretty much all just destroyed us. Just basically completely did. There you are. Okay, he's actually gonna be really tough to kill. Not impossible though. All right, that worked really well. 
That did not work as well. That did not work quite as well. <laughs> Do they run out of ammunition? Like, is that a thing that happens from with opponents? I've uh, I've never been 100% sure on that. Hmm. If we can get a, a spot up on the wall, because firing down on us is where they're most powerful with rockets and things. You definitely want to be above them, or uh, at least on level with them. Fuck. Where? From where? I hear the beep. Well, wherever he was, we don't have to worry about it anymore. I hear number two. Don't act like that. You're holding a nuke. What do you mean, what scared already? Jesus Christ. This is nerve wracking. All right, so he's somewhere in that direction. All right, we're going, bringing our health back up again. God. All right, so this is where we entered. Really? I got turned around at some point. I came through this way. All right, I know what, holy shit. I don't know why I paused, but he took my arm in a single shot. Oh, that beeping's very uncomfortable. I like the idea of getting rid of opponents before we enter places because I don't want to exit places and then just be surprised. Can I get up along here? All right, we can, we're getting him. I know you're there, brah. I see you. All right, we're switching to this, this guy so we can get a little bit closer view. Hmm, gotta find a better vantage point. All right, I'm gonna try circling around the left side to see if there's a, another vantage point we can enter. All right, maybe we can actually sneak up on some staircase or something. It doesn't look like there's any staircase we can sneak up onto. You know, I guess we just have to go in. I don't think we can actually get up there until we go into the building, so... Let's go in! Alright, we're inside. Something is beeping at us. A light of some kind. The way life should be. Find out Dima's secret. Skirmisher, let's just scoot over to the side. Alright. No problems, no problems. There. Cryo mines, Molotov cocktails. We've got a lot of explosives. Uh, it was nothing. Something's attacking. Not super mutants. Mole rats, it sounds like. Alright, something is here. A noise? Are we about to be attacked by a super mutant or a mole rat? There's armor in here. What? Oh, it's some more Vim armor. Ooh, that's cool. Here's playing tricks on me we might be using that pretty soon just to kind of uh, protect ourselves. So, what is it? What is it? We have 10 grenades. All right, down. Okay, I'm gonna put a cryo mine back here. That's just good. I'm gonna provide a better placed cryo mine. There we go. That's just gonna be back there to make sure nobody sneaks up on behind us. And then I think I would like to try to take on people from up high, if I can. Oh, shoot, what'd he throw? Frag grenade. Well, two can play at that game, bro. Something just went foosh over there. All right, is this guy dead? Let's go. I don't see if a frag grenade went somewhere. I feel like I should have a higher chance to shoot than 63%. I saw his hand, like, throw something. And I hear shooting now. But I'm not in danger. We're in caution. Oh, God, this is creeps. I hear footsteps. Oh, God. Where are you? Oh, Stupid man. Noises. This is ridiculous. Both them and I are just like, I know you're here. We're gonna get that guy to help us out. Come on, brah. Come on. Let's get some help. Ooh, easy. It's just an immediate activate. 
We have some notes. Brewing everyone in from tasting area. Brewing vats. Nice. I believe you, Willis. You don't need to call me Mr. Reed. Willis, you've been working at this factory for as long as I've been alive. Your sons and I went to school together when you were working for my father. I can't believe you. I believe you about Alex. Interesting. What happened with Reed and Alex? Out of proportion, this isn't some sport of conspiracy. We're one of the largest employers on the island. Of course it is going to look like more things happen to our employees than others. Hazard pay based upon a couple of unrelated incidents. Memo is going to meet after work on Friday to discuss the attacks. Attacks? That's right! Vim's been attacked by people. That bitch framing Alex and that stolen power armor that is clearly a pattern, even if they don't want to see it. Me too. Intr That's right, Vim has been attacked by something. Alright, this is going to be helpful. It's... I'm glad that they've gone at least zero days. It's good to hear. And, ooh, we got some beer. Hopefully that will work as a way to... Oh, okay, here we go. Alright, dude, so we're going to stop it here. Vim is kind of an interesting place. I forgot that they were being attacked, and I'm really curious to find out why. If it was a Nuka Cola staged like coup or something, that would be pretty neat. Anyway, dudes, we're now here. Super mutants are terrifying, and of course, may the ground rise to meet your feet. May the wind always be at your back, and may the sun shine warmly on your sexy, sexy face. Dudes, see you later.